Happy National Insect Week. But wait, what is an insect and why are they important enough to have a whole week? Let's answer that first question. Insects are invertebrates, which are animals without backbones. In fact, they don't have any bones. Instead of bones, insects like these best beetles have hard chitin on the outside of their body called an exoskeleton that holds in all their organs and blood. It's kind of like if you had a suit of armor instead of skin. Also, to be considered an insect, the main part of the animal's body has to have three parts. A head, a thorax, and an abdomen. These parts can look really different from insect to insect, but all insects have them. Next, they have to have three pairs of jointed legs that are attached at the thorax. Do you see how the legs are growing out of the middle of this insect's body? So, is a spider an insect? Well, they have eight legs, and their bodies only have two parts, so no. Sorry, spider. We'll talk about you later, promise. All insects also have compound eyes. Each little lens is kind of like a miniature eye, and though insects can't see the world as clearly as we do, many can see ultraviolet light, which we can't see at all. And finally, insects have these funky little rods coming out of their heads called antennae, which they use to sense the world around them through touch, smell, and more. They're kind of like if you combined your nose with a cat's whiskers. And while not all of them can, insects are the only invertebrates that can fly. Sorry, spider, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that are happy you can't fly. Most insects hatch from eggs and grow through a really difficult process called molting, which involves the animal pulling itself out of its own exoskeleton, like this Caribbean cave cockroach. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. Some insects go through four stages of life that look completely different from each other. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. These insects here are the different stages of a darkling beetle. Some insects only have three stages, called egg, nymph, and adult. These insects hatch out of their eggs looking like miniature versions of the adults without the wings, and they never go through a pupa stage. These are a Caribbean cave cockroach adult and nymph. Only the adult stage has wings. Should we check back on that one roach that was molting? Hey, it earned its wings. Knew you could do it. Some insects are social and live in well-organized colonies run by a queen, like these honeypot ants. Other insects are social, but not quite so organized, with no one individual in charge, like these Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And other insects can live together, but don't really interact with each other, like this velvet ant and death fading beetle. Now that you know what an insect is, why are they important? Insects pollinate about 80% of all plants, including the kinds we eat, so without insects, most plants would stop existing, as would all the animals that need those plants. Insects are themselves food for all kinds of animals, including us, because they're a good source of protein. Probably the thing that insects do that we appreciate the least is that insects eat dead, rotting plants and animals, like these domestic beetles and their larvae. Somebody has to eat it. Glad it's not me. Insects help keep nature running, and even if sometimes it feels like we can't live with them, we most certainly couldn't live without them. So say thank you to an insect next time you see one, and thanks for watching.